Hey there everybody, this is B Jax with the Black News today. And today I have a special report. I wanted to do this video. I thought it was so important. Um the subject matter today is Miss uh Robin Vaughn, um beautiful black woman here who's a lawmaker um in Trenton, New Jersey. And uh recently there's been articles that's been going around about um how uh Miss Vaughn is uh, homophobic um, she put her foot in her mouth and there's audio out there basically with her having a conversation with the mayor of Trenton and um, basically it all surfaces around nonprofit organizations that Miss Vaughn feel like the mayor is supporting that does absolutely nothing for the city so she's practicing her right as a lawmaker to confront the mayor and have a discussion and I want to tell you there's no me too involved uh, there, there are no uh, women organizations that are, are involved in this to assist Miss Vaughn. I mean, if you look at all the reports, the reports all come out that Miss Vaughn pretty much attacked him. But if you listen to the audio, you see that um, the mayor was saying some things that were that were pretty, you know, they were agitating. And it was almost like he was, he was agitating her and not uh, having a discussion. Um, what what he was doing was basically, you know, uh, saying she was immature, she's a child, like like ba just basically just just egging her on, and she exploded with some things, um, and she did use uh, she called him gay, called him called him the f word, and she and she said some things. So what I want to explain to you is that when black women are talking for the good of the community this is the backlash okay um if you ask me she there was a conversation where they both lost their cool and words were mentioned because he said some things to her that were disrespectful telling her to shut up she's a child this that all this was way before she said anything um that was considered homophobic about uh the mayor um saying that you know you know you know basically he was a fag you know she used the f word she used these words but once again this was this was anger okay i didn't see her being homophobic and she didn't say she had a problem with gay people this was towards the mayor and what we're starting to see now is there's a media propaganda that's going to change the narrative they're going to make this out to be um they're going to try to destroy uh miss uh, they're not even talking about what the issue was that they were discussing which was a pretty pretty big issue for trenton um they're talking about basically what she said and what she did. Now I have this audio here and I'd like to play it for you. Once the audio is complete then I will come back with my commentary but I basically want you to just sit back and I want you to listen. If you're trying to plug a particular nonprofit, you should not be doing that mayor. I'm not plugging or advocating for any nonprofit, or any private or right, nonprofit. As long as I know that you don't have Oh, oh, yeah, I do. And I have. Well, you can battle it off. Let's battle it off. It's a confidential well, why, 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 why do I have to do that here? And why, why are you advocating for a nonprofit? Which one are you advocating for? You should be advocating for the residents of the city to ensure that those nonprofits are delivering the services for the, the tax, that the taxpayers Okay, radioactive. Okay, radioactive. Okay, okay. Well, you should be getting that list. The problem is, you should that I call do you nothing. shouldn't run your mouth and say that we're using do nothing nonprofits and you can't even name them. Okay, Mayor. You, don't, well, you got some on the list. The ones that you repeatedly give funds to and there's no outcomes. There's no result. Name one. Name one, Robin. Come on. Okay, as long as we know that you don't. Oh, 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 oh. Trent Health Team, for instance. Like run your mouth. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right. I, I, you don't even you're, know who they are, Mayor. You're a child. You're a child. Oh, oh, I'm a child? You're a child, and you're incompetent, and you know it. That's why you're coming after me. Oh, my God. You're a child, and you're incompetent, and you know it. That's why you're coming after me. But you're not going to win. You have your own look at you. Mayor, you, Mr. Mayor, excuse you're me? You're an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot? You're an idiot. Now, you're the idiot. other, the Trenton Health Team is an umbrella organization comprised Trenton of... Trenton Health Team is nothing but a, a, a non-profit, and that's why the state, that's why the, the, the state put their shared service yeah. agreement, the illegal shared service agreement okay. that we had with Trenton them. Health Team... for yourself so you heard the conversation between miss uh robin vaughn and the mayor uh reed Gosiora. i think that's how you pronounce it if not i don't even care but uh, i just want you to understand that uh, the lady w was talking about real issues okay and she was bringing out points that the mayor was unable to uh you know either have a conversation or answer these questions instead he was saying things like you're radioactive you're running your mouth. You're an idiot. He said this over and over and over again. He assaulted her. I'm not assault, but he insulted her. He used words that basically were, were trying to uh, 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 infuriate her, was trying to get a rise out of her. Instead of actually talking, she was, she, she was asking questions about things in particular. And instead of him answering, he was throwing back insults. Okay, then another individual gets on the phone and he just says, oh, I can't believe you, you, you put up with this. This is what you call railroading. Okay, black people, uh, whenever you have a voice, you will be over talk, you will be loud talk, and then you will be called names like idiot, you're running your mouth, you don't know what you're talking about. This happens every day in black America. And this is why it's so dangerous uh, when we have uh, leaders that don't say anything because they understand this we have black leaders that won't say a goddamn thing okay because they understand what just happened right here now we have uh you know a black woman that's speaking up for a black community and this is this is the pushback she gets and when you look all in the press they're talking about uh uh basically that she lost her cool okay and she called him a motherfucking drug addict when you can clearly hear before she started all that this man was calling her an idiot calling her all types of names a black woman intelligent black woman calling her all types of names and so she lost her cool called him a drug addict motherfucking pedophile okay then then you had a guy named joe harrison you know he, he jumps in there and he starts talking you know, you know. I guess he wants to protect the mayor, and I get it. But the whole point is, is that 
<laughs> Listen, black women, nobody cares for you but us. Okay? They want to make you feel like you want to be a part of something and have a seat at the table. But as soon as you speak up or speak out, this is what they do. This is what they're going to do to you. And this is just a prime example. Okay? This is a lady right here that's trying to do something for the community. And she's speaking out. And she, and she actually has points and bulletins. In every article that you will read today or hear about this particular incident, it won't have anything to say about what she was talking about. It's just going to say she's a pedophile. I mean, I'm not a pedophile, but she's homophobic. And that's about all we're going to get out of this. Okay, so I don't want to make this video long, but I, but we need to see what's going on, and I want to report the news, and I want you to see, okay, that you have Mayor Reed Gaskorska, who's an LBG, LGBT pioneer, okay, who calls himself the first openly gay state legislator in New Jersey, okay. He called this black woman all types of names, okay, and I know he did it because she was a black woman. He wouldn't have did it any other woman. He is a mayor. He called her all these names, running her mouth. You're a moron. You're acting like a four-year-old child. You're doing this. You're doing that. Like It's totally unprofessional. Okay? He could have just hung up. Okay? He could have said two words, hit the gavel, and hung up. He's the mayor. But instead, what he did was very disrespectful to her, and she responded disrespectfully. So now she has to, I guess, resign because she called him a pedophile motherfucker. In closing, this should be used as a guideline as to how you vote for the presidency. You need to understand that if there is no agenda and no one else cares for us, you need to vote for the ones that do. Okay? You need to vote for the candidate that cares for black people. The one that's going to speak out. I can't imagine that this mayor became, uh, that he became mayor without black votes. But now you see. You see how he talks to the black woman. You see how he disrespected her. Okay? She was bringing up points about counsel, about business. Okay? She wasn't just having a conversation just to be disrespectful. She was being disrespected as she was bringing out information. According to the recording that we heard. So use this when you go to the polls. Think about who you're going to vote for. And don't just be voting for people because they smile at you. They're not your friends. Thank you and have a good day.